Hello folks, I am back at home, not going anywhere today. Anna's at uni, Andy's at school, and Kev is at home. Really, really struggling with some video editing. I have captured some awesome footage over the last three days of adventures. And now I'm realising just how badly I need to go on a video editing course. Because trying to assemble it into something that I can use is oh so very difficult. Firstly, yesterday's vlog, I spent two hours trying to edit that together this morning. I did take some footage from inside the Sports Interactive building that featured the other seven YouTubers who were there. But there was some uh, confidential pre-launch marketing material uh, in the background. And I've spent two hours trying to blur that out whilst keeping the rest of the footage usable. And in the end, just had to give up, remove the footage completely. So... You're never going to get to see it, or I might put it into a vlog in like two weeks time when I'm allowed to, but by then it kind of loses a little bit of its impact. So that's a real shame. I then got my normal Football Manager video uploaded fine, no issues there, I hope. But then the rest of the day, I mean it's three o'clock now nearly, Andy's going to be home from school in a few minutes, for at least the last three or four hours I've been sat at the computer trying to edit together the footage from Nuneaton on Friday last week into no more than a, certainly no more than a 10 minute intro video. I was originally thinking a five or six minute little intro to the series where we have a little, a little walk around the ground, we do the interview, we meet the players, we just generally do some cool stuff and let me show off a little bit and I just, I'm, oh goodness me, it's so hard. Firstly, at no point in three hours of filming did I do a hello and welcome to bit which is fine. I had a grand vision for why I wasn't doing that. The only problem is, after three or four hours of fiddling, it's apparent that I can't do the grand vision. So I'm now trying to repurpose the footage that I've taken into something that works, but there's obviously bits missing because it doesn't follow the original plan. Mental note for next time I do anything like this, to <laughs> have two plans and record multiple different bits of footage and oh, consider this a massive learning curve. There will be, obviously there's gonna be a video that comes out as a result of the Neaton thing. It's still gonna come out on Sunday. It's not gonna be very good. It's gonna be the best I can do. And then once everything calms down a little bit, once all the new series and everything are out, as an absolute priority, and it was something I identified when I first left work back in July and just haven't got around to doing yet, but it's now clear just how much of a priority it is. I need to do a Premiere Pro course and an After Effects course, because if I get an opportunity like this again, when I get an opportunity like this again, I want to be able to properly do it justice. So if you're watching from an Eaton, I'm sorry, it's not going to be as good as I hoped. It will still be cool, but cool because of what it's about rather than because of how it's put together and I wanted it to be cool for both reasons. Bah! Anyway, Andy's gonna be home soon and then Anna will be home shortly after, well a couple of hours after, and then we get to unbox a sensory box, which will be cool because he likes them. Hello. Hello. You had a good day? Yeah. Shall we find out from your book? Yeah. All right, what's it saying? Andy has, Andy has done fantastic work in maths, use of money, and literacy, Guy Fawkes. He also worked so hard in a handwriting session. Have you been doing handwriting? Yeah. Good. He doesn't usually like writing. More of a computer person. At lunchtime, Andy broke the zip in his backpack, getting very upset about it. We, we attempted to fix it, and it's been working. You may want to look into it. Did you break the zip on your backpack? Looks all right for now, but did you break your bag? Good. So you broke the zip on your bag? No. Is your bag okay? Yeah. Good. Because we got this bag at Comic-Con, I think. We won't be able to replace it. Can't get broken. Um, there's also a mysterious looking letter, which we'll handle when Anna gets home. Mommy. Someone who's very upset at lunchtime. He seems all right now. Yeah. Look at how he's got his foot up in his armpit. That's some flexibility. As promised, we have another My Sensory Crate. That's what they're called, isn't it? Another My Sensory Crate. Now, since we last got one of these, I've had a little pricing review. So if you had a look at it last time and decided it was a little bit too expensive, um, check them out again, because they tell me that stuff is now a little bit cheaper. As with 
last month, apologies for the noise by the way, loud YouTube videos going on next to me, but as this box is for him, he kind of needs to be involved. Um, but as with last time, full disclosure, this box has been sent to us for free uh, for us to review it. And if you are interested in getting one, we do have an affiliate code that you can use. And if you use that, you'll be supporting the channel because we get a little kickback from every sign up that goes through our link. And I'll give you that link at the end. But as with last time, very nicely presented. I'm going to have a look at what's in there. And then as long as stuff is suitable for him, I'll hand it over. Anna is in the corner to supervise. But can't be on the video because she's busy with uni work. So straight away, I know there's something that Andy's probably not gonna want, okay. which is refreshers, squashies. He's not really a fan of chewy sweets. Do you want those? No. No? So should we give them to mummy? Yeah, no. So they're for Anna to have. Ratchet and size matters, Andy. Yeah, I know you want to play Ratchet and Crank size matters, but we'll see if there's anything fun in here for you first. Yeah. So, I need to read the instructions to find out what some of these things are. I don't know what that is. No. This is, a simple but effective fiddle toy. Coloured wooden blocks are strung together with elastic which allows them to be locked and angled. Oh, okay. He's got one. He's got one. He's already got one of these. So let's see how he responds to having a new one. Anna gets him these things and I don't even know she's getting them for him. It's very confusing. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's quite cool. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. We good? Yeah. Good. Right, no next eating. thing then. Yeah, no eating. Oh, now I know he likes these. We have a little spinning top. You like a spinning top, don't you? Yeah. What's the one? Is it a coloured one? Just turn that over. Should we spin it on there? No, 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 oh! no, 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 yeah. Yeah? Are you going to do it on the floor, are you? No light today. No light on that one, no. I don't know if it's supposed to have a light. It looks like it should have a light. Um, yeah, spinning top that lights up as it spins. Let's have a look, see if there's something we're supposed to have pulled out. Oh, actually, there might be. Hold on. Let's try it again. No light today. Hold on, I think there might be a light. I think I just did it wrong. There, there we go. go. Now it's got a light on it. Um, Better? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Now he'll play with that until he loses it or breaks it. Um, right, what else have we got? We have Crackle Bath. Makes your bath water crackle and pop. That sounds awesome. There's instructions for Crackle Bath. Now the colder nights are upon us, bath times are a great way to make the most of sensory play. Enjoy bath time fun with the magical Crackle Bath. This unique product promises a fun bath time by making the water crackle and pop with the magical popping dust. That sounds really cool. He's going to have a bath in about 20 minutes. We'll give you a full review of Crackle Bath tomorrow. Presumably he lets Anna use it. I'll throw that over to you for some Crackle Bath fun. What's next? There is a Slime Monster. Slime Monster. Squeeze out the sticky snot and suck it back up. Oh, this sounds nasty. Let's have a look at it. I mean, it's just the sort of thing you'll probably like. Okay, so we have a little pot of like squeezy, snotty, slimy stuff, which I guess we then suck up like that, maybe. I don't really know if we're doing it right. Very clever tool. And then, is that right? Am I doing that right? Do I? Apparently, we should just be able to. I don't, I don't know. Anna will fill, figure that one out and if we figure it out, I mean, to be honest, he'll like that bit on its own. But we'll put that to one side. I don't really understand it. Oh God. No, no! Why would you send in this, my sensory crate? He's actually gonna like this. We're not gonna like this. There you go, it's for you. There's one cent, there's one cent. <laughs> um, no. It's called a double rattan shaker. It's made from natural and non-endangered woven one bell-shaped seven. shell. One seven. It can play a variety of shapes and you can tap it. Apparently it's going to experiment with different ways of shaking the instrument to produce different sounds. 
and rhythms. So we'll leave that with him. He likes this little wooden thing more than anything else like that. And then lastly, I think, for this time, we have slime. Modo is great for hand strengthening and calming for anxiety or temper tantrums. So not, it's perhaps not slime. And uh, no worries, a powerful aromatherapy, play and colour therapy to help create an extremely positive yet fun way of providing relief from stress. Contains lavender, juniper, geranium and rosewood. Um, relieve stress. If you just play with it, it will relieve anxiety and stress. Let's open it up and have a little go. Oh wow, that's not slime. That's not slime at all and that smells. And it's just, just squeezing. Have a look at that. Smell it. Oh dear. It's not food. Yeah. It's not for eating, it's just for squeezing. Mm. Look, just for squeezing. Mm. There we go. Okay. <laughs> he might come round to it. The smell he should be used to from his bedtime cream that he has. Where did the lid go? Anna's asking for the squeezy stuff. It smells really cool. If Anna manages to figure this one out, we'll stick it in at the end of the vlog if she figures out how to get this thing to suck up this slime because I certainly couldn't figure it out. Can I put the camera on you? She's just said, oh, this is delightful, and she's just squeezing and playing with it. She'll probably have that. You can use that on the bus when you're with the children that you don't like to relieve your stress and anxiety. Right, I'm going to deliver these to Anna oh, yeah. and then tell yeah. you how you can get a My Sensory Crate for your kid, but I can't remember what our affiliate code is, so one moment. Here you go then, sales pitch time for you to get your hands on your very own My Sensory Crate. You can sign up at mysensorycrate.com using discount code LALUJO10. All the details are down in the description. That gets you a 10% discount off your first month's box. And Anna's messing around with go. all the toys now. Have you managed to get them to suck that up? Give that back to me, quickly, quickly. <laughs> How did you do that? Right, so we've now got a little alien dude and just why is nothing coming out? Well, it went in. So it's now full of that. Is not got any slime in it. <laughs> I don't. Why don't I understand this? It shouldn't be this hard. What? That's got all of that slime in. Oh, there you go. There's a little bit. Get all of it. And, oh, that's dirty. That's horrible. Oh, it just keeps coming. Why is this? How do you get it back in? I don't like that at all. That's a yucky. Can you have that, please? I do not like it. It's you like a sneeze. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's horrible. It <laughs> Apparently, it should be addressed to me. <laughs> Dirty. <laughs> yeah, thank you again for sending the box to my sensory crate. Fingers crossed. If enough of you sign up for your own, they'll send us another one next month. There you go, it's gone again. Dirty. This wooden thing. Roaring success. It's his favourite thing in the whole box. Really, really likes it. I still really like this. The uh put it down to be slightly less annoying though. Where is that? Is there any light anywhere in this room? There we go. The lavender squishy stuff, big success after his bath, rubbing it all over his face, getting ready for bed. It's really helped him sleep. That stuff was worth getting the sensory crate all by itself. The pop stuff for the bath, he didn't seem that impressed with it, but the the face stuff, well it's not face stuff, but the squishy stuff, and he's just rubbing it all over him and squashing it around. That, that stuff's really cool. We need to find out where you buy that from. So once it loses its smell and its squishiness, we're gonna need to buy some more. But we are gonna call it there on today's vlog. I've got to head outside now to stream, because I didn't stream yesterday because I was away. I need to get back into some normal routines. Apologies for being a little bit negative and grumpy earlier in the day. It's been the full-on editing slog today. Hopefully tomorrow will be better. If you have enjoyed today's video, please make sure you give it a nice big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. Thank you very much for watching. And if you're still setting off fireworks, even though the 5th of November was at the weekend, please stop. It sets Dave off, which sets Andy off, which ruins everything when it comes to sleep routine. See you tomorrow, folks.